Why is Rabbi Nachman busy telling you you should be doing Hippodidu and talking to Hashem for an hour every day? Rabbi Nachman says that the essence, the essential gift of Hippodidu is Bitul. What does Bitul mean? That your desire for your limited self becomes nullified. And you enter and you connect to a reality which transcends this physical world. And once you do that, now you give Hashem, who is transcending everything, the ability to create new realities for you. Who is the most miserable person in the world? The one who only thinks about himself. Who is the happiest person in the world? It was the Lubavitcher Rebbe, because he never thought about himself. He only thought about how he could help others. To the degree that you are able to nullify yourself, to that degree you can experience the endless light of Hashem. And that's really what we all want. And for that, we're going to need to create a vacated space. And what do you place in that vacated space? So we know, going back to the story of creation, after he took his light and he placed it on the sides, he then took one little, tiny, little, tiny, little light from his endless light, and he shot it through the space. And every single one of the worlds that he created, including our physical world, received that little bit of light. That light is called Chochmah. That light is called the revelation of godliness. But it's only a little one. And that's why it's hidden from us. And that's why in the first Torah of Lakut Maran, Rabbi Nachman is busy teaching us how to experience that hidden light because that light is the key. So we see that there's really two things that you need to be doing if you want to experience all good in your life. Your heart is your point of free will. Your mind only wants one thing, the vekut with Hashem. Unity, oneness with the endless light of Hashem. That's not physical at all. Your body only wants physicality. Your heart can want either one. And it's up to you to choose which one. <laughs> Show you